What's up everybody, my name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, What's up everybody, my name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Now let's get to my two tips that I have for you on the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. Now the first tip that I want to talk to you guys about was actually this setup that you see right here, where the doors are actually tucked underneath the Lunar Solo. What's really nice about this particular pitch method is the ability to give you plenty of ventilation and actually the ability to kind of see outside of your tent with also providing quite a bit of privacy. Another uh, benefit to this pitch style is uh, you can actually get in and out of the tent without disturbing the doors. Now you will have to crawl on your hands and knees most likely to do that, but it is possible to get in and out of the tent um, uh, with this particular door style. I wish I could take credit for this door style, um, but I actually saw this on the Six Moon Designs website many years ago when I was first interested in the Lunar Solo, and I thought I'd share it with you guys today as one of the tips. Um, one really nice thing about this too is that it's actually very easy to do from the inside. Um, from the outside, yeah, it's kind of a pain because you kind of got to tuck underneath there, but if you think about uh, when you would actually use this, you're actually going to be inside the tent when you put this all together. So I'll go ahead and um, uh, show you guys how that's all done. Okay, so the first step to putting together this um, this pitch style is you actually have to close the doors. Now I obviously have the doors open, so I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down, see if I can find a favorable angle for this. But uh, yeah, first step is you got to close the uh, zip up the doors. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is actually the door. This is where the zipper is and the main line on the uh, Lunar Solo. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to tuck the doorway in underneath. And actually, here's the Pressic knot that's typically, that's typically on the outside over there. We're going to go ahead and bring that guy up. What you're going to do is you're essentially going to hook the door in like you normally would, like, it's, like as if it's on the outside. You want to make sure that that hook's in there good because it um, can easily come out on this side if there's no tension on it. But then you just essentially slide the Pressic knot up, okay? And then just kind of give this a tug downward and readjust as necessary, okay? And that's basically how you, how you get that set up underneath here on the Lunar Solo. Let's see if I can get you a, a little bit closer look at that. I'll back that out a smidge. But yeah, it's basically just the hook that you would normally have out on the front. You bring it up underneath and make it happen underneath here and then it creates a nice nice area where you can kind of see outside and it also provides the uh, privacy. So the next tip that I wanted to show you guys actually involves the pitch of the tent. If you look on the left over there you'll see that the front vestibule is a little bit slack. I noticed when I was practice pitching, um, uh, when I was practice pitching this tent that uh, I wasn't actually following the designated lines that were intended. Now I'll bring you over here, and if you take a look at that, that guy out, right over there, you'll see, you'll see that it follows up to where the material is, then all of a sudden the material line starts veering off to the left. I kind of started to notice that after a while when I was pitching uh, the Lunar Solo that if I were to actually walk around and look at the way I had pitched it, the way that my guy outs are coming out don't necessarily follow the intended lines on the tent. So one of the things that you want to do is you want to go around and you want to make sure that you're following the intended lines. Now of course there'll be times when there's rocks and roots and the ground won't be perfect and you can't do this pitch perfect, but if you can do the, per uh, the pitch correctly, uh, you do want to go around and make sure that your lines do follow the intended lines of the tent. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change real quick and we'll see the difference in the uh, front vestibule. Alrighty, so after that change, that front uh, vestibule is not as slack as it was. And um, yeah, that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you 
that you do is you kind of walk around and make sure that your guy outs are all following the intended lines on the tent. I have a bonus tip for you guys, for those of you that have struggled with the lunar solo pitch. I personally have struggled with the lunar solo pitch for quite a while before I finally figured something out. I put together a video on how to pitch the lunar solo in two minutes. I'll link it in the card above. Check that out. I think you'll find it very helpful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you found the information useful. If you did, go ahead and give me a like down below. Until next time, take care.